So you have two years of your, like, what was your dream core that you said earlier, like, that you always aspired to to land at, but then you had a change of heart. <laughs> exactly. What, uh, what motivated that? So uh, in 2013, I was fully moved out of the house. I was in college then. And, you know, through, throughout my time, while I was still in high school doing drum corps, my parents really supported me. But obviously, after I turned 18, and they said, you want to keep doing this thing, you got to support yourself. So I took 2013 off and got a job, right, and saved up for the summer of 2014. When I was looking for groups to march for in 2014, um, you know, I, I really wanted it to be special, memorable, obviously, because it was my age out. And I had a choice. I wanted to either want to go to SUV or Blue Coats. Um, did a lot of research. You know, SUV was hot at the time. They're still hot. Um, but, you know, not to knock them at all, but I just, I just didn't want to. They just have a very unique and very distinct style um, percussively. So I didn't, I didn't want to, you know, adapt that much for my age out. And I had a lot of friends at the time talking about Blue Coats. You know what I mean? A huge fan of Blue Coats 2013, obviously 2012. Michael, that show was amazing. Drumline was incredible. Um, so mm-hmm. I just sort of followed that trend and went out to went out to Blue Coats um, for my age. I wanted something. You know, long story short, I wanted something new and different for for my age out. Right. Um, so went to the Atlanta camp, the 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 satellite camp. Got invited to the January camp, and then I earned my spot for the 14 season. Killer, killer program, killer mm-hmm. line. Uh, just a bunch of very talented dudes on there. Richard uh, Ramos, Jason Schladeweiler, Ryan Ellis, Mike Davis. You, dude, just, uh, what's his name from Florida? I'm blanking. Jerry, is that his name? Is he in there? Or that was uh, 15. I think I can see in yeah, my head who you're 15. talking about, Evan. I don't know his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Connor Yasuda, uh, Manny Marquez, and Pulse Dudes. Right. Yeah. Arjun, of course. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot about Arjun, dude. He was heck. Yeah. He was hella young too. Dude, he marched um, inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what's this kid doing? Yeah. <laughs> they put you on there to surround him with good sound. Um, yeah, hundred exactly. <laughs> percent. You have a pretty iconic moment though from that yeah, show. I'm glad like, we're bringing this lot up. hype. Lot oh, hype yeah. central. Uh, oh, the uh, the epic gawk block quarter note display. Yeah. Uh, and I think a lot of people just were like. Is this just like a joke? Is this for fun? I didn't realize it was actually like something that was from the the chart from the piece. But. So yeah, yeah, it's actually an, that that um, is actually original uh, part from the from the opener, like from the opening score. Um, so, so when you all was, got the music, was that written time. written in the chart? It was. Yeah. How did you end did up they, with it? Did it just yeah. luck into it in the drill? Like you were in the right spot by the way they wrote it. Yes. So. For the first half of spring training, uh, we learned the opener drill, and I actually wasn't the one with the gawk block solo. It was, it was the end quad. My boy Ryan Ringold, um, Pulse dude, he had the he had the block, right? And he played that solo, but we changed the drill, and they were like, "All right, who's gonna play the the block now?" Snare one, and it happened to be me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's how it worked out. It, it, it worked out um, from from a, dr- a drill change, and. Uh, a lot of people ask me, like, where where did you even put it? Like, how did you even carry it on your drum? Um, but I actually had a, a double stick bag, opened up the middle of it, and created a little pouch, and then put the block in there, and then um, just sort of rigged it up as the tension rods. And then <laughs> I remember I remember Roger being like, hey, this this doesn't look good. Like, we're going to change it. We're going to change it. He kept telling me that, and he sees it again in July. This is terrible. I don't want, I don't like this. We're going to change it. August, finals week. This is, okay, we'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. he wanted to take out the gawk block part no 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 he didn't like the way it was displayed on my drum it just kind of looked ratchet you know oh, what i mean okay. he wanted it to be a little more sophisticated yeah roger's um, very very about the aesthetic he's oh, very he's much very so. aesthetically focused yeah i'm very meticulous yes yes very much so mm-hmm. so the first time you did it in like a lot were you just like in your head like thinking this is ridiculous or were you like i'm just gonna rock this <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was ridiculous I thought it was ridiculous. I mean, we had Blitz Blue Coast a lot. They're always huge. So I remember people like, look at that and vibing out. You know, I'm just like, dude, I'm not even vibing out this much. And I just, everybody always wanted to um, wanted to make me, you know, tick or laugh or smile or something, you know, but I had to maintain. Right, of course. <laughs> it became so, such like a thing. Like people knew where it was coming and they're just like screaming. Oh, exactly. Boy. And you're just like, 
just bobbing your head with it. And stuff. Exactly. And I was like, by the end of the season, man, people were just expecting you, like, give it to me, give it to me. All right, here's some 188 quarter notes. <laughs> yeah, and you're just, I'm sure you're just like, all right, just just like bite your lip, like don't, don't. don't. <laughs> right. No, Dude, honestly, I, it was it was it was odd because when you're playing it on the field, you could you you have the the melody going on, so you know like how many, right? But when we're in the lot, it's just me and me trying to stay with the Met. And it's a mixed meter piece. So I was like, okay, here's my bar four, four. Here's my bar of three, four. Sometimes I would count to 18. I, I can't even remember, but it was, it was not, a, it was not easy. It wasn't like four bars of four. It wasn't so, like that. It was so you're like doing beating. that counting calculus in your head and everybody around you is trying to distract yeah, you and exactly. just like make you f- yeah. screw up. And yeah, exactly <laughs> on the field, you were like pretty isolated. Weren't you, weren't you in that very middle set zero, man. Yeah. Set. Ugh. Money shop. Get out your cameras, <laughs> folks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. And the only time we actually like rehearsed it was uh, finals week uh, in Indiana because I can remember we spent a day on each movement. Like the Monday, I guess, of finals week was the opener day, and the Tuesday, blah 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 blah. Uh, so we we just dug in on the opener that whole day, and I can remember um, well, during ensemble we would re- they would reset just so I could nail that tempo without the Met. You know, we we never really really dug in and rehearsed my quarter notes. Uh, all all year and then it happened to be like on finals week and i was like all right you know reset you know you're a little slow reset you're fast but like ever so slightly so they really wanted to make sure it was perfectly in time obviously the rest of the course were like dude stop making this reset yeah exactly you're <laughs> speeding up come on man <laughs> my heart's racing dude i can't help it. right but you also have uh just a killer drum line that year the book was very tasty awesome the show tilt very iconic blue coat show uh were you ups or downs on the split singles downs downs i figured it was five down four up but mm-hmm. nah, it's all right mm-hmm. you can say you played split singles but <laughs> right it yeah, was I good remember. too it was okay okay <laughs> <laughs> um i remember we had a bunch of debates on how, how we were gonna bring our sticks down afterwards and of course everyone chimed in chimed in chimed in because everyone wanted to do a cool, crazy visual afterwards, but we ended up, I think, just going with the classic release down, whatever. <laughs> Might as well not create too much stuff to have to clean. Right. Well, it's, it means blue coats. You got to be about the visuals, right? It's all about the hype. It's all the hype. about the hype. <laughs> clean but, is the best hype, as 100%. Travis Peterman would say. Oh, oh man. Chris, Chris Gary told us that at George Mason. That's, that's what he'd always say. He said, "Clarity is the ultimate hype, or clarity is the coolest hype." 